So right after watching the new F1 movie with Brad Pitt, I had a pretty good idea. What if I used Logo Diffusion to create a Formula One style logo that feels competitive, fast and is built to stand out on the track. I even came up with a name which is Forge 11 and in this video I'll show you how I created multiple badge style variations in just a few minutes. All from a single prompt, I just tweaked some settings and let the AI do the heavy lifting. So without further ado, let me show you how I did it. Okay, first I'll head to logodiffusion.com and I'll use the text to image workspace. Now for this style I'll pick badge crest, but you can choose whatever fits your idea the best. Now let's write a prompt, something simple, you don't have to break your brain on this, just simply write what you want and AI Enhancer will refine it for you. Let me do something like badge logo of a Formula 1 brand called Forge 11. F1 car as the main symbol, the style should feel professional and serious. Okay, I'll hit enhance and let the AI refine the prompt. As you can see, it automatically adjusted the mood, colors and the other settings based on what I wrote. I want to explore a few different looks, so I'll generate a few more times and show you what I get. So after 4 or 5 runs, these are the results I picked. I tried one minimalist version, one a bit more detailed, here's another with a stroked style, which is a bit different from the others, and this one feels vintage in my opinion. I also liked this version because it's super easy to remove the text, as you can see, and you're left with just the logo, which I think is super useful if you ever want to use the logo without text. Okay, now I'll download the vector files and open them in Illustrator. I want to refine some stuff and maybe try out some new different color variations. This step is is totally optional but it helps if you want to tweak some small details. Okay the files were pretty clean already I'm not gonna lie I just tweaked some tiny stuff and tried some new color variations and here's the final results. Let me know if you followed along and what you created. I'd love to see your designs. This was super easy and honestly pretty fun to make. If you want to see more videos like this, quick ideas, different logo styles and design walkthroughs, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching and see you very soon.